If this guy flies over me one more time, I'm gonna start throwing rocks. Wait, hold up, I think that was my cousin. He just threw something out. Hopefully I didn't hit his plane. Oh, he's coming back for more, huh? That's it, that's it, that's literally it. All right, maybe we should stop doing that. Oh, well, what is this? What, oh, that's nice. My uh, sunglasses tied to little parachute masks. All right, well, it's good to have these back. So that happened last night. I guess you can't turn super sharp with this or else you will stab one of those spiders into the tire here. Luckily, I think that is repairable. So we are kind of done with running tillage until that gets fixed because don't think we can run it like that. So in the meantime, Let's go start up one of the pivots. At least we can get that going this morning. The tire shop doesn't open till 8, 640 right now, so got some time to kill. All right, what do we want to do? Probably 50%. What in the world? Why is that not even something? Okay. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, this is not working. I guess nothing is working this morning. Maybe this thing is out of alignment? Something's broke, I don't know. That is definitely not straight. The second to last tower not moving at all. So let's safety override this thing. Oh God, turn it on. Okay, hold up. We gotta go down. You junker of a sunrise. Gotta go down and look at it. I don't understand what's wrong. It looks like it's perfectly aligned to me. Oh, that's... So this is why it didn't move. That's nice. That, uh, we're actually kind of in a pretty deep trench right here. And that twisted right off. Alright, well that looks a little better. I think we can actually get back to running this final pass, then we'll be able to plant here in a little bit.
right, let me show you guys what we're running for our final tillage pass, seed bed finished pass is, I don't know if you've seen much of these, but this is called a skew treader made by John Deere. They only made like six of these things. And so there's uh, four other guys, yeah, four other guys that have these skew treaders. <laughs> All these spiders uh, break up dirt clods. See right here, right behind it. it. Does make a pretty decent seed bed. So when it came from the factory with the hitch on the front here, it kind of lifts the dirt a little bit. But what we did instead, because we wanted to pack this ground a little more since it was plowed, we took and welded a hitch on the back here. And we're pulling it backwards so that the spiders obviously are turning backwards and they kind of pack the soil a little bit more as they crush uh, dirt clods. Then what I did is moved the, um, adjusted these gangs with this uh, 1970s non-hydraulic gang adjustment to make them as severe as they can go so we can kind of move dirt sideways a little bit and uh, fill in any ruts that we have in the field. Then on the back here, we just added some uh, two sets of harrows with some well casing welded it on right there. It's all good to go. And the final result right here, it's actually a pretty nice looking seed bed. I know it's not perfect. As you can see up there, there's some a little bit of a hump right there going up the hill. Alright, we kind of got a big old rock in the field here that we probably should get out before I hit it with a combine or something. Okay, this is actually a lot heavier than I thought. This is... I need to figure out, I should do something with this rock. We got these things filled, inoculated, calibrated, greased up, tractors filled, def, diesel. I think we're ready to go. What up, what up? What up? go out here where we just planted kind of lightly dig the soil and look for the seeds and make sure they're at the correct depth that we want yeah okay that looks good
just finished seeding the 95 acres, got the drills broken down. We're gonna move them to the next field and it's only like 20 acres. We got the pivot running on this next field right now. So it'll be tomorrow that we run the final tillage pass and then plant that field. Well, I guess that's one way to unhook the hydraulic lines. You just pull the tractor forward and rip them out of it. All right, now we're gonna take this down, fuel it up, put def in it, then we'll get the skew treader, bring that up here with the harrows, and get it all set up for tomorrow morning. Biggest waste of money right here in this box. gonna start this pivot up here with this nice valve we got right here it doesn't leak at all you probably can't even see that on the camera All right, now we gotta go shut off that north wiper pivot that was watering buckwheat the last couple days. What is that saying? The, like the early, the early, the, the, the early. All right, <laughs> ready? Come on guys, early worm gets the worm. Alright, that uh, end gun and booster pump should kick on after we shut this pivot off here and that pivot will sense enough water pressure that it'll actually start up. Obviously, I need to beat these hooks a little closer together because I'm not going to have that. Came off the chain. Okay, we're good to go.